Hey Siri, can you turn on the stripper, please? Okay, the stripper is on. What's going on guys? My name is Matt I'm Sports Talk and finally I get to show you guys the ultimate setup but before I begin I want to say thank you guys so much. This is the 700k special video. You guys deserve this. It's all thanks to you that we've been able to do this awesome stuff with my room and with my setup and with YouTube in general. So I want to say thank you guys one more time for 700k. We are almost at a million. I can't believe we're almost getting there. It's just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. It's crazy. But anyway, as I promised, a bunch on Twitter and Instagram and everywhere else. I'm sure you've been waiting for it. This is the ultimate setup video. So when you first walk in the room, you're going to see to your left, you got the gaming setup and we'll get to that in a minute. That's the bread and butter right there. That's where all of the magic's made. I got the beautiful zombie backgrounds. Thanks to Chucky for the one on the left. Uh, over here, you're going to see my boy Rick Toffin. What up, buddy? How you doing, fam? He made it all out here from the Z House. Repping the Q's. If you guys don't know, I went to Syracuse University. I graduated in May, so that's uh, why we got the Q's flag up there. You got to rep the Q's, baby. Down here, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more in depth later, but this is my PC. That's my Mac. We'll get into that in a second. Obviously, I sleep over here on this uh, lovely memory foam bed. On my uh, bedside table, we got my iPad. And then this is another amazing part that I really was excited to feature. At Call of Duty XP, I got four of the real size posters for the four DLC on Black Ops 3. They're Eisenjock, Setsubo, Garag Krovi, and Revelations. There's a lot of glare off of those, but we'll fix the lighting in a bit for live streams and stuff. And then we come down here, we have our awesome uh, zombie setup here. We got all the perks from the Z House back again. My boy Brutus is up here protecting the mystery box like the homie that he is. Dad, a boy Brutus, you the man. Yeah. Oh, 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 Brutus, come on, dog. He's a little top heavy because his head's so goddamn big. But down here, this is going to be going out to one of you guys, uh, whoever wins the giveaway, so that'll be gone soon, as well as the Juggernaug. Uh, below that, I got all of my camera equipment, so all in here is all my camera stuff. Got the YouTube bag. Back when they gave back uh, the silver plaque buttons, they gave out YouTube bags as well, which is pretty cool. So I snagged one of those. Uh, we got Jerome, which is my drone, uh, the DJI Phantom. He's in there. Uh, but yeah, he's sitting under there. Oh, God. Brutus, again, you know what, man? I don't know if I can keep you around. You're not a very good job protecting this shit. You're doing a pretty shit job protecting the mystery box here, okay? Come on, dog. You're supposed to be scary. Get, get, get with the program here. Um, we got the chicken hat over here. You guys know, love the chicken hat. Call of Duty, who sent me this awesome hat. Cuse again, a bunch of other hats. I uh, got some sunglasses and some other crap. The GameCube, oh yeah! Haven't played that since the Z House, unfortunately. I uh, really wish we could play more, but there's no one to play with around here, so fuck me. I think the thing you guys would want to see most, this is the most important part, is the actual gaming setup. What do I use? What do I play with? Got some soundproof tiles back here. Basically what these do is they absorb the uh, the sound in, in the room. So if I were to clap or snap, the echo would be pretty bad if I didn't have all those. I'm actually going to get a lot more. I might cover this entire wall with soundproof tiles. We'll see how that goes. But uh, let's take a seat down here. Let me show you guys how this, is, uh, how this all works out here. So right here I got a keyboard. This is actually a wireless keyboard. Um, I don't even know what the brand is. But basically what happens is I can go to this PC. This is Mac actually, I lied. This is Mac here. You can see, boom, that's Mac. This side over here is actually PC. Um, and the monitors I'm using are 227 inches. Uh, they're ViewSonics, they are 2K monitors. But this keyboard can switch back and forth between the PC and the Mac because I am one of the few people who uses Mac. Obviously that's why I have two different mouses over here. We got the Mac one on the left and the PC one on the right. So I can go over here and open up Adobe After Effects and I can go over here and open up Premiere. And those are two different operating systems. As you'll see over there in a minute where we have two different PC and a Macs. Uh, down here I got my headsets. I use a Plantronic. I don't even know what they are. Rig 500 I think is what they are. Rig 500 um, with a little little holder here. And it's got some Beats pill, uh, Beats pills, Beats wireless headphones, Stray Studio. Down there I got my Klipsch, my baby Klipsch. Uh, subwoofer. Uh, I got the speakers up here as well. These things kick. If you guys have these, I know Lonely Mailbox got them because I told them to. These things freaking kick. They go hard. Uh, and then over here I got my MacBook Pro laptop that I take on me when I edit. This big pad is Reflex Lab. Um, it's just like a big ass mouse pad. 
and it's real nice, keeps it nice and clean. But by far my favorite part, as you guys may have seen on Twitter, about this whole setup, and as you may have seen in a little preview that I just did before, this desk is not an ordinary desk. Yes, it seems pretty ordinary, it's got just two legs and it's got the standard tabletop. Uh, the wire management has gotten a lot better, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of it's under there. If you guys have seen my previous set of videos, wire porn is a thing on my channel. I used to have the worst wire management level ever, worst cable management because I was always going back and forth from Syracuse, back to New Jersey, out to LA, all over the place. So it was like, I was never really willing to go and get invested in wire management. And now I've kind of done a little better job. There's a lot of wire over here still, but for the most part down here, it's pretty clean, which is pretty nice. And there's a reason for that. This button right here. Now, this button is a special button. If you guys don't know, this is a sit-stand desk. So watch what happens here. Press the button, and the whole thing raises up. Like so. So right now, it's getting a lot bigger. All the way up to about there. And now, it's at standing height. I'm standing up right now, and this is how I can just stand up and edit all my stuff like this. This is actually freaking amazing. I've used it a couple days now since I got it. Oh, 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 oh. For anyone who edits a lot, you need to absolutely get this. You need to invest in a standing sit table, or sit stand table. Um, this one I got from Ikea, it was $500, really not that bad. But to be honest with you, editing while standing up is 10 times better than editing while sitting down. It's just, it's a lot easier. I can dance around, I can be me, I can do my thing, I can jam to my videos, and it's just, mm, oh, 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 oh. It's so much nicer to edit while standing than sitting. Over here, I got your boy, uh, Rody. Pretty sleek, it's nice, it really works really well. And I can go ahead and, I can, you know, move it over here in front of me when I'm, uh, when I'm doing commentaries, like so. I can move it back out of my way when I'm not. And that's a really nice addition to the family. I used to have the Blue Yeti like a lot of people do, uh, but I upgraded to this guy and it's been amazing ever since. Now we're over here, I also have these on boom arms. Those things don't have to worry about like, you know, they're not wobbly, they're really, really tight on there. And it's just, oh God, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the nicest thing. The, sand, the stand sit desk is so nice. Put the chair back in there and there you go, you're back to sitting. PS4, obviously, you guys know I play on that. I have the Xbox 360 here. Believe me, I also have an Xbox One, but I left it back in New Jersey. I'm probably gonna get it and bring it over here. Don't really play anything on Xbox One, but I might as well have that because the 360 is like, what? My, why you got a 360? Why you got a 360 right now when there's Xbox One out? I don't know. Over here, uh, I got my computer. This is uh, an Ironside computer. They actually sponsored me a while back. Uh, again, it's not sponsored now, but a while back, they were my sponsor and they, uh, they gave me this PC. It's not the greatest. But it works, and it's what I needed for streaming. Uh, it's got an i7 in there, it's got a GTX 960, so nothing crazy. I'm thinking about going to 1060 or 1080, uh, because mods are coming out. <laughs> and uh, that's that, that's basically all I use for streaming. Um, and then over here, this is, the, this is what I love to talk about, because no one else in the community has this. This is a Mac Pro, okay? In here is eight gigabytes, there's two graphics cards, i7, it's got a terabyte solid state drive, it's got everything and more that you could expect from any of your big ass PCs. And when I was at the Z house, these guys had towers like I've never seen. These, had, these guys had towers that were like taller than me. I'm not kidding, they were like up to here on me. And they had to ship them all the way across the country. These things must have weighed so much. They were huge, clunky, and they might be great, but guess what? My Mac is just as powerful, and look at how big it is, I have small hands. This thing is dead ass the size of like maybe two hands, maybe two normal size hands. Nice and easy, couple wires that come out the back, and there you go, that's your PC. The PC is actually really small because I wanted it to be small. I don't like the large ones to bring all the way around. But even that thing, even this thing is not nearly as powerful and it's massive compared to my, uh, my Mac Pro here. So if you guys are looking to get into editing or anything like that, you're looking to do graphics work, anything besides hardcore gaming, 100% of the time, I choose this Mac Pro. I love it. The only thing I will say is that it's significantly more expensive than the same specs if you got if you're gonna buy and build your own PC. Over here, we got a four terabyte drive, six terabyte drive. So that that brings me up to like I think I have 14 or 15 of of, of storage space. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to show you guys. Well, I'll show you over here. This is my uh, closet. I don't think you guys really care too much about this. Got some clothes in here, more clothes. Look at that, what do you know? Clothes are a thing. Shoes, too, I got shoes. I'm not a hardcore shoe guy. I have a couple shoes, a lot of these are old, actually. But um, I know some of these other YouTubers got some swagged out shoes, like 
typical gamer, he's got some crazy shoes. He could probably show you just a whole video on his shoes. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys before I head out is that I actually have all the lights in this room are Hue lights. And basically what I've decided to do is for every time I get a donation on stream now, it's over $10, I usually have a dance party. But I wanted to take it to the next level. So now, not only is it going to be bumping music and I'll dance no matter what I'm doing in the game, but every time that happens, we're going to have this happen as well. It's going to be a dance party with the strobe lights, and they're all going to turn different colors. Woo! So that's pretty cool. I can turn the lights whatever color I want, and... Uh, I think we'll do some cool stuff with the uh, the streams for that now. If you guys think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments below. Give me some ideas. What should I do with the lights when certain things happen on streams? <laughs> there you go. That is the 700K special ultimate room setup. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up on the video. Let's see if we can get to four likes on this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite part about the setup is. And if you have any questions about any of the things I talked about, I'm leaving all the links to all of the products in the description so you can check them out yourself. And I'll answer any questions you guys have about the setup in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Be a part of the road to a million. I got some ideas, guys. I got some really crazy ideas. Let's make it happen. Peace.